Mini lad. A man we all love to hate. He's a bastard, and he seems to have finally fucked off from the internet. So today, we're going to talk about everything that Mini Lad's done, from the accusations of inappropriate means, to all of the random slip-ups and goofs that caused his career to plummet. Like the Titanic. Only happy. So, let's get into this. This epic video with the boys. Before we start, I have a new microphone. It's it's quite good. It cost me too much money, but you know, hey ho. So you get to hear my voice in better definition than you ever did before. Mainly because of the microphone I had before cost me a fiver. And now we got that good shit. And by good shit, I mean I've skinned myself for a month. Damn you, student loan. Damn you! Let's do it. We shall start as we always do at the beginning. The beginning of it all, when back in 2012 and 2013, Mini Lad was saying <laughs> and f As you can see, those words are censored. And I didn't actually say the N word. I said neighbor. Because I am a champion of people. And also, that word's just fucked anyway. Why are you saying it? Stop it. Stop it. These screenshots here show all of the times he did actually say it, and as a man, a a male, I disagree with them. I especially disagree with the N-word, mainly due to the fact that, you know, it's not very nice. I also really, really, really disagree with the because as a man, I believe that we should not bully people for liking a bit of men or women. If they are themselves a man or a woman, let them shag who they want. It's none of your business. Unless you are the man shagging a man, then by all means, shag away, my friend. Shag away. But yeah, these screenshots were indicative of a pattern that would emerge, eventually, of him goofing up and trying not to acknowledge it. He used the N-word and the F-word multiple times. It did dwindle away, however. And give him that, that tiny, tiny bit of leeway. However, the next accusations, <laughs> they're not going to go anywhere because they're fucking awful. On June the 23rd, some accusations came out from a lovely woman called Haley. The first tweet stated, I was manipulated by Minilad. I was 16 slash 17. He was 20 plus. And she leaves photos and evidence and a huge statement. It's later corroborated by a lovely, also lovely woman called Ashley. A pair of them just absolute, just lovely human beings who shouldn't have been put in this situation at all. Now, there was a bit of controversy over the age because in the UK, where I'm not from, I know I sound like it, but I'm not. I am from Zimbabwe, as you can tell. The age of consent in the UK is 16. That's where Minilad is from. However, in America, depending on the state, it can range between 16 and 18. So, it's murky. And also, regardless, if there's an age gap of, say, 16 to 17, and he was 20 plus, as this tweet states, you stay away from it. Any right-thinking human being would stay away from it, but Minilad didn't. He baited them with his depression and how he was feeling suicidal to get them to do things and send pictures and sext, which is just fucked up. He shouldn't have done this at all, and his response, well, it didn't pr paint a pretty picture, did it? I'm not going to go into detail about the response because... There's already videos on the, on my channel and many other channels. I'll link mine and I'll link some of the ones that I find particularly interesting. But the response was awful. And then he had the audacity to jump right back onto the happy-go-lucky gameplays. Oh, I found King John in North Korea, blah, blah, blah. And it was just not on until... Until he could actually come out and talk about it. He shouldn't have even been on the site to begin with. He should have just straight up gone dark... Or, you know, done the honest thing of released an apology. But he didn't. Because, like the scumbag he is, he thought he could hide it. 
and he could get past it if he just ignored it, released a five minute video where he waffled and blamed everyone else but himself and then carried on as if it had never happened. But the response he did give on the 29th of December, which we also talked about, didn't shed m much better light on him at all. It revealed a lot of manipulative behaviour from Minilad. It revealed a lot of dark, dark shit which he shouldn't have said. He baited people with suicide to not talk about what was going on, to do things for him, and to be sexual with minors. Like, Jesus Christ, man. That's fucked up. Anyone with a right-thinking brain would know that's fucked up. And this is a, in danger of turning into a rant, so... I'm going to leave this section here. And we're going to talk about the Twitch ban and new news that's come out about him, which I've only just discovered in the past five minutes between looking for references for this video. Flash forward now to the end of February, and the news comes out that Milad's been banned on Twitch. Now this was brilliant news. This was just absolutely amazing news, because YouTube haven't banned him. They didn't do anything as far as I'm aware. I don't know if they've done anything particular. Maybe they've demonetized his channel, maybe they haven't. I don't actually know. But Twitch actually took a stand against him and banned him. Fucking good on you, Twitch. The, the video for that is also out on my channel. That video, I will admit, is incredibly scuff. Mainly because I was sorting stuff out. I've been all over the place lately. Um, with my house and my wife and seven children. They left me again. Shh. But with that small thing, there comes a big thing. And recently, and I say recently because it was very recently... I'm currently recording this at 3 in the morning. At about 20 to 3, I discovered an article. And we're going to talk about that right now as the close of this video because... <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but I'm seething with rage. Pure rage. So this article then. This article is from Sports Skedia. Sports Skeeter? Sports Skeeter. And it's titled, Mini Lad, who was accused of grooming minors, says he will come back to YouTube when the time is right. Craig Mini Lad Thompson was spotted in Dallas by paparazzi. He claims to have moved to the city from LA recently and is currently setting up shop there. Mini Lad has faced a lot of accusations of grooming towards minors at the end of 2020. He's not been seen on YouTube since the last video on the 29th of December. Mini Lad was a viral YouTuber with approximately 5.16 million subscribers on his channel. His vlogs and comedy sketches propelled him to becoming one of the top 100 UK influencers in the UK. 2020 was a rough year for Minilab because he was constantly involved in one controversy after another. They weren't controversies, they were fucking crimes. And there's a video here, I'm going to link it. I'm not going to give the fucking scum back the time of day, but to give you the, the lowdown, like the kids say, he basically says it's been a weird few months, he's just moved to Dallas, he hasn't had power and all that. He's been meditating and working out and he's cut himself off from the internet. Now those are good steps. But you shouldn't have to cut yourself from the internet. You shouldn't come back to the internet, friend. Like, come on. You can read the writing on the wall as much as anyone else at this point. You should not come back. And the fact that you're even considering it. Like, oh, I'll come back when the time is right. Oh, it's been a re weird few months. It's not been a weird few months. You groomed fucking minors, mate. And now you be, oh, it's a weird few months. I'm going to come back when the time is right. No, stay the fuck away from the internet, mate. Come on. Use your fucking brain. But the article goes on to say, however, it seems that the internet wasn't too keen on having him back online. Correct. They felt his behavior was problematic. And despite apologizing, he should just stay away from YouTube. One user also pointed out that Minilab moved to a state where the age of consent was 17, which also ironically happened to be the age of one of the victims. Whoo! I didn't even think of that. Like, come on. I'm just seething with rage. I genuinely lost for words. These videos aren't always scripted. I have a script here, which was just a basic script, and I do riff. A lot of the video is riffing. I make points, and I riff. But this is just shot from the blue for me, because I was just looking for 
the ban on Twitch article and this come up. Fucking hell. I'm going to leave this in the description. And it's just dead to me that the actual, one of the tags for this is Minecraft. The tag for this article is Minecraft. You can see that in the URL, sportskeeder.com slash Minecraft. Come on! Jesus Christ. This has turned into a full-blown rant, and I apologise. Uh, the video is well over ten minutes now, which I wasn't planning on, because I don't do drama videos. And when I do, I don't do them for this long. So, here's the outro. So let's review. Over the course of his YouTube career, Mini Lad has gone to call his many friends and f he groomed minors. He has fragrantly just flaunted every human concept of decency and now he's going to be coming back eventually. So, this is a message purely to Mini Lad. Stay the fuck away from us. Stay away from the internet, stay away from YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, Facebook, fucking MySpace. Stay away, you are not welcome here, you're a scumbag, and I hope you fucking rot. Thank you for watching this video, I apologise for the rant. Enjoy, subscribe, subscribe, like us, share us with thine friends, Um, fucking... Go call Mini Lad a nonce, don't do that, I'll get into trouble for that, but do it anyway, just don't mention me. Toodle pip, fellas.